Welcome to the IBM Podcast Network. You're listening to TFG Football. What's up everyone and this is where we are getting bring, bringing you all the news and stuff and in in discussions and intense uh, detail whatever we do uh, on the indian football <laughs> you did a shabbir ali over there <laughs> whatever yeah. we do, we do yeah. <laughs> influence you see uh, back to do. back yeah <laughs> by a lot of back to back matches i'm watching so instead of concentrating on the game i'm always concentrating on what he's saying you should. Is, yeah so that's exactly my point see that's I'm, how influence i am his greatest fan already <laughs> yeah exactly see but it's influencing i am taking the influences here well you heard both of them and they were nick and Kevin in the studio the silent guy who is yet to speak but who will be speaking for a long time on the show is as usual Chiranjit Oja who is joining us via Skype all the way from Azol who is like yes. in a hurry to finish the show and run to the stadium so we have no worry we are not uh, ending the show here but we have a lot of things to talk about uh, well few news bits that Chiranjit has asked me to start with is of course his favorite team about Bagan uh, Mohan Bagan uh, now AFC has said that Bagan cannot play their <laughs> AFC Cup ma- games at Ravindra Sarobar because it does not have 3,000 bucket seats. <laughs> that means leaving everything, all the stadiums in Kolkata, they have come, they, are, they will be playing at Cooperage. <laughs> Guess what? Who, is, who, will, who will play the saviour? Cooperage. Of course. No, no, no. We call Kolkata yeah, as yeah. football hub. <laughs> yeah, but they have no stadiums. 3,000 bucket seats wala stadium nahi hai. Kaha nahi har saal kiya. So oh, this no. is, this is completely, uh, you know, a, a, a very comedic situation, uh, you know, all being caused by Salt Lake Stadium being unavailable. This was not the case last year. Okay, <laughs> you could play in a in a stadium with less than 3,000 bucket seats. Uh, you know, you know, the funniest part, Mohan Bagan Stadium has uh, more than 3,000 buckets. But uh, okay, oh. they could have played it in their own ground if they just uh, had built an extra dressing room and they completely miscalculated it. It's egg on the officials' faces. See, who there's are not always up to if and but in the case of Mohan Bagan. <laughs> Ah, the officials are just always running by last year's ka rule. This this year, ka, like, why are they not updated? It's it's frustration for us every year that, you know, we just never seem to catch up with what's at present. <laughs> yeah, but but I'll, I'll tell you what, Oja, uh, even Cooperage is not AFC licensed. Then, uh, no, it can. It can work. Okay. Because <laughs> uh, because all I know is uh, uh, Mumbai FC, I mean, uh, Mumbai FC has got national license. I don't know if, if it is if it is the same. But I'm not very sure because they, uh, in AFC license they also require no roof. no Mumbai FC got uh, no Mumbai FC ka uh, national license is because of uh, uh, Santosh Kashyap not having a pro license. No, uh, one one point is for acquiring a AFC license the stadium also requires a roof, which is not available at Cooperage. So I don't. Ah, know. I don't. I think uh, see it's not a final thing yet. Huh. Everybody mm-hmm. wants to go. Be, uh, wants it to be Cooperage, but apparently Balewadi and uh, Kantirava are also in consideration, which is probably not going to happen. I think it's going to end up being Cooperage, and they'll have to make some concession here because this is getting ridiculous <laughs> right now. Mm. You know, even even uh, even Rabindra Sarovar doesn't have a roof. Yeah, uh, you know, so it's it's a it's a total uh, <laughs> you know massacre happening here. It's just uh, so Mumbai I think we need. It's just that Cooperage has 5,000 bucket seats. <laughs> 2,000 plus. Okay. No, no. It's like a pilgrimage uh, tour for Bagan fans if they come here and watch AFC because they have won so many titles at Cooperage. Yeah, yeah. so you can adopt that right now. You know, the adopted home ground. Well, moving on. Today is the Turbo Tuesday and that's what Chiranjit has told me to introduce <laughs> the show as. Because we have... He's an as all for a reason. Uh, and uh, today is the Northeastern Derby, uh, Shillong versus Azol. I think I should say the other way around. Azol versus Shillong, and the kickoff is at one thirty. We did see a massive crowd when uh, they played Minerva hmm. the last time, uh, the same time. And today, being the Northeastern Derby, you will see double and triple the amount of crowd. Yeah. And one of them in the gallery or oh, in the press box will hmm. be Chiranjit. So Chiranjit, why How don't is you? How's the atmosphere? <laughs> there? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I saw some Shillong Vajong fans who drove in yesterday. Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, and this is this is one of the reasons I call. I still, uh, I mean, I certify this as a derby because uh, you know these are two teams from two different states. Mm, so yeah. technically, it's not a derby. Yeah. But 
you can actually catch a uh, you know a root car tata sumo where, where you can just you know it takes it runs regularly takes passengers so if if the two uh, cities have a tata sumo running between them i think we can, can call them uh, you know <laughs> call the two teams derby capable okay <laughs> what definition <laughs> that's why <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think that's why Maharashtra Derby is also a proper derby because you <laughs> can. Uh, runs you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. and even Bangalore versus Chennai is a proper derby because again there are cars running between the uh, city, like it's a, it's a five-hour journey, hmm. and uh, uh, it's it's also the same reason why Chen- uh, Kerala Blasters and Chennai uh, Chennai FC in ISL is not a proper derby because you can't. <laughs> Take a bus from yeah. one place to okay, another. It's okay. Okay. Complete nightmare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the match, then. Not we are not giving geography yes. geography lessons here. <laughs> it's a it's a, one of the uh, exciting games of the season. Uh, you know, the you could you can feel the heat around here in the streets. Uh, you know, all the uh, little bit flags and banners are up. I saw a couple of Shillong Lajong banners up as well. I don't know if you know anybody's opposing to that yet. Hmm. It's a, it's a very interesting uh, situation. You know, Isol FC. Well, they are beating yet, and they are showing promise under Khadir Jamil. Uh, and uh, Shillong Lajong again uh, playing uh, seven under twenty two players, hmm. technically good. They seem to be doing well. You know, <laughs> Bengaluru FC. Of course, it was an overwhelming thing. And uh, I, I spoke to a couple of players. They said it. There was a psychological element at play there, right? You are playing the defending champions away in the very first game, and you had a very short preseason. So that came into a uh, play. But against Mohan Bagan, they seem to have overcome it. And uh, you know that penalty decision. Everybody was talking about that. That we had a penalty against Mohan Bagan. If we had scored at that point, we could have come out very differently from that match. Mm. So, Shillong Lajong seems to be a team which is finding its rhythm, which ha- which has a good quality Indian players, uh, which despite being young, uh, have been exposed to the uh, you know this level of gameplay long enough, and good foreigners as well who are uh, leveling themselves into the uh, team and uh, you know slowly t- starting to deliver. So they're only gonna get better from now on. And uh, at this point, they are clashing with an unbeaten Isol FC. So it's a very, very uh, interesting masala yeah. uh, going into this game. Well, talking about masala, you made this. Uh, you were there at the press conference about for this match, right? Yesterday. Yeah. So you also met this colorful man over there, uh, goes by the name Khalid Jamil, and you had some. What did he have to say about you know two matches, two wins, a new season for them? Khalid Jamil has a beef with the media because he just uh, like uh, <laughs> I spoke to him. We had an uh, exclusive interview with him, and after that, he he just uh, you know went off on me like, yeah, defensive coach ka attack kida se aaya. <laughs> ah, he's like he's like ever, ever since uh, Mumbai FC started playing Bengaluru FC and them being an attacking side which were like much bigger budget much better than Mumbai FC ah. that uh, that's why they decided to play defensive you know ultra defensive so udhar se ye tag he thinks it's an unfair tag that uh, he he got uh, from the media uh, because of those fixtures and those fi- uh, whatever happened in those fixtures uh, bottle gate and everything else that made it a, a very talked about uh, thing in indian football that, so what he wants to do uh, here is to sort of sh- uh, shed that uh, you know uh, the the whole tag that he's carrying as a defensive coach so uh, afterwards i'll just quote him here he's like tum logo ka brainwash karna hai idhar mere ko ठीक है, so he he completely wants to uh, change the way we have known him as a coach so far, uh, and uh, it's that's that's another reason why I'm so looking forward to this uh, season, especially mm-hmm. how I saw FC doing it. Yeah, of course they've had a great start, and uh, we we can uh, expect some really new special things from uh, from them. So well, uh, why can't we just dive into what he had to say, right, Sanjeev? I mean, you had you had a word with him, just like you said, he gave an exclusive interview with us. So it's time to listen from the man, unless you quoting him. Let's hear it from him as well. Well, here we go. Uh, so you were there with uh, Mumbai Mumbai FC so long, uh, and. Uh, you had to like deal with a certain situation right you were playing out of your home and uh, you know uh, financial constraint so now you are at azol fc how different is the setup how different are the uh, you know the whole uh, kind different, of yeah. i don't feel any different because i am enjoying at this moment i'm feeling happy i'm enjoying and uh, uh, changes there is a change but i am adjusting with the change I don't have any problem. At this moment, I am happy. 
So the, uh, I was saying different in the sense that uh, you had a particular task and you had to stay up in the top division in a, on a very shoestring budget. Is it any different here? Do you have more uh, freedom in terms of spending and going for a higher target? I told, I told you before, I don't have any problem. And uh, same thing, there is no changes. Now, only one thing is that there is more fan base. No? I am playing with different team, so we have to adjust very quickly. This is a different one. So did you have like enough time in the pre-season? No, I don't have enough time. No, we are hardly started last seven days. Before we played seven, I started from 28th January, by 28th December. So is it is it uh, you know we we have always seen Aizawa FC to have a very robust robust midfield and uh, you know their passing game is pretty good and uh, play with a lot of stamina. Does that fit with your uh, you know sometimes ultra defensive strategy that you showed in Cooper Aids? First of all, I came lately. I didn't make any changes. Only I make only hockey. We are playing with different formation maybe, but the player has changed. I didn't tell them to do anything, just play as what you have, just do it. We go step by step. When we play away matches, we have to be defensively strong. This is my strategy before. Even when I was in Mumbai FC, I did the same thing. Home match, okay, we play attacking, away match. So, uh, you know, you brought over some players uh, from uh, Mumbai FC. Are they gelling well with the team? Are they you know, adjusting to the new setup? Do you see progress? Yes, I am seeing they are doing a good job. Alvino, Jayesh, Ashu. They came two days back and they played first match. When they came here, they stayed two days, they played first home match. And they are going for second match. They, are, they adapted very quickly. Because the atmosphere is very good. Management is good, crowd is good, weather is good. So I don't think they find any difficulties. Okay. But in six days you are going back to Kupriz mm -hmm. and uh, you know everybody, all the fan groups and uh, everything around Mumbai FC is buzzing at the return of Khalid Jamil uh, to Kupriz. Mm -hmm. So are you anticipating something special in that game? At present I am not thinking about it at all. Mm -hmm. Because uh, tomorrow's match is for me just one of the most important match for Aizwal. Yeah. Aizwal or Aizwal? Aizwal. Aizwal. Yeah. For Aizwal. Yeah. I am here for Aizwal only. So I will go step by step. Then when I go to Mumbai, that is different thing. But for me now, it is about tomorrow, Lajon. They are good side. They are under good coach. And they play, I have seen them two matches. They are playing very good football. So it, is, it will not be an easy match. If you want to beat them, you have to play on top. So do you see any particular you know, special build-up happening uh, among the fans uh, for this game? Because uh, this is the derby game and uh, you know, usually you see people turn up anyway for whoever they play uh, as all. Mm -hmm. But is there any special or uh, you know, extra fervor around this game that you can see? Yes, I am seeing that. Everybody telling you from now on we have to beat this team. It is a derby match. I know, but uh, for us it is... Uh, all matches are the same. So you, uh, I think before the first match you said uh, three points are good, but even one point is good. Uh, for so me it's like that only. Okay. Same thing, there is no change. Huh. When you get one point, okay. If you get three points, it is better. Okay. So same will be, uh, it will be the same for tomorrow's game as well as Mumbai's Tomorrow's game. game also same, any game you play it is same. You must not lose a point. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, just like he is an unexpectedly spoken here. Yes, I think yes. you know. <laughs> and listen, that's what they do. I think they wait for somebody to ask them some uh, something related, and you know, towards the point mm. questions. And when you sit down with them, and then you know the right person. Okay, he can talk, mm. or he is a different person altogether. It's just that when you are the media is almost you know, uh, what do you say, gulping you down, and you know. Point fingers at you and all of See, that. It's a, so, it's a new project for him. Yeah. It's a new team for him. So accordingly, he'll 
change his strategy. I mean, if you give him Bengaluru FC, definitely he is not going to have a, a defensive kind of a strategy. Hmm. But if you have a team such as what was Mumbai FC before when there was no budget, hmm. Man, hmm. budget constraint and not many star players, he will have to work accordingly. Otherwise, we would have definitely got relegated in all these, yeah. you know, seven years. Right. So I think I'll tell you what. Hmm. Uh, to the point for this, that CG made hmm. uh, when the press when the whole press thing is not there when the you know cameras are are not hmm. rolling yes. and mobile phones are not recording he is a very jolly man he yeah, yeah, yeah. jokes around with everybody yeah. he is very cordial but whenever you go into that press mode he also assumes that manager mode hmm. 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 Right, right. Well, then uh, expectations from this match because this is a derby game and we are all waiting for its kick off. It's at one thirty, so we start with our expectations and predictions for the game. Chiranjit, you go first. Ah, uh, Isol FC are very strong. Mm. Okay, uh, there. Uh, it seems like uh, I, you know, even though in the interview he said he's not you know tweaking too much, right? He he's going step by step. He's telling players like play your natural game and just changing their formation. He has done some tweaking, hmm. right? Uh, well, Alfred Jarian is no longer the out-and-out <laughs> attacker. He's uh, playing a little bit of a withdrawn role. Uh, okay, and uh, even Alfred Jarian was uh, asked. Uh, you know, he was in there in the press conference. He was like, "Yeah, I'm I'm okay with whatever position uh, the you know coach gives me." Uh, so he's he's doing his own things a little bit, and it seems like Isol FC are being better off for it. Hmm. The only thing Isol need to work on is that they're not scoring too many goals because. I I don't care what I League have said. Uh, you know the officially uh, the goals that Isol FC have scored have been ascribed uh, to people. Uh, I I think uh, you know the first goal that they got was an own goal, uh, Gurvinder Singh ka, and the second one they got uh, was also probably an own goal. You know that was scored by uh, Joel Sunday. So officially it's not the case, but it looked like it. Mm. Okay, so it seems like that that outlet is still not working out. What as uh, you know, uh, what Khalid has done so far is that it, he has strengthened the defense. He has reworked the midfield, so they are uh, their supply line is intact. If Jayesh Rani or somebody else you know just works out and sorts out just the scoring opportunity, they get much better. They become a proper threat uh, to the big uh, big guns in the league. Mm-hmm. And I think this is a this is a game where they will have the chance to do that because uh, again, uh, Shillong Lajong, despite being uh, pretty good. Quality wise, they can be overpowered physically by the Isol team. So that's that's what I think will happen, and maybe a narrow win for Isol FC. Hmm, okay. So well, scores. Uh, he's given a narrow win to Isol. Nikhil, Kevin, your scores, please. Yeah, hey, it'll be a tough fight. Uh, Zilong won't uh, let just uh, Isol take it too easily. Hmm. Uh, we should see some uh, resilience from them, hmm. and uh, fully uh, Zilong can score. They did come uh, close to scoring in, uh, against uh, Bagan. Bagan as well. That header and uh, aerial threat is always there from Lajong. So I might see a, a one nil to Lajong or a one all. Okay, I I feel you know uh, I will agree with Chiranjit that as well as upper hand over hmm. uh, Shillong Lajong and I'll be especially with the. Uh, Jayesh Rane is a kind of a player I want to watch he was good in IC- ISL okay yeah. he has uh, traveled to a different region altogether okay so it's it's not easy for him also to cope up with the hmm. surroundings right. I think he, he must have spent around week week or two in Azol and I feel he should be able to you know perform at its best in this match hmm. so the, my eyes will be on him how he performs if he delivers no, as always taking this. Moving on, uh, we spoke a lot about Bagan. We speak again uh, because they kick off. At, their kick off is at 4:30, mm. uh, and they play the new team, Minerva. I think we should stop calling them as a new team. They're mm. already yeah. into the league. Uh, so, Charanjit, all your eyes are on this match. Yeah. Are you giving it a one-sided affair? Uh, maybe. Uh, Mohan Bagan is uh, getting stronger. Certainly, they will be. Uh, you know, uh, getting in some new players uh, like Eduardo is finally getting into the team. Hmm. Uh, in the defense, so expect that to be stronger. Uh, you know they are using uh, Rainier Fernandez as the right winger in this game, uh, and uh, again uh, same thing that happened in the last game. We'll see Katsumi will be playing on the left uh, as he was in the previous game. So uh, this is not the perfect attack, uh, but it will be bolstered by the fact that uh, JJ Lalpikro is expected to start today. Uh, you know for the first time in this season uh, for Mohan Bagan. So this is the best Mohan Bagan can be before Sony Norde also comes into the picture. Okay, he probably won't play to, uh, tonight. Maybe uh, in the next game he gets a, a go around. Maybe comes on in the second half. But for now, 
this is 90% mohan bagan hmm. right and minerva punjab despite they have them being like uh, you know a little bit uh, good in the midfield they can uh, attack from the wings and all that but their defense does not seem to be capable of holding back a uh, you know big team like this and this is also the toughest challenge they will be facing they faced uh, chennai city before and aizol fc before this is a much more advanced attacking uh, side so i expect a 2-0 win at least for mohan bagan Agreed. I think this uh, Minerva does look like a weakling, as we 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 did speak about them, and we did see the performances of theirs. So uh, once again, there's nothing much to celebrate over here. We would see. Let's see if Minerva can surprise us or hold them, hold Bagan, and all of that. Uh, the final match to, for tonight is DSK playing another new new entrant to the team, which which has been rather playing well and better than Minerva, I should say. So DSK are playing Chennai. So what are your thoughts, Kevin? Why don't you go first? I think it will be a rollover from DSK, uh, just completely crushing uh, Chennai City because they they are a stronger side. DSK they just not be able to score, and against Chennai, I don't think there's any way of stopping DSK. It will be a massacre. It looks like to me. Hmm. Chennai? Oh, I I agree completely. Chennai City. Uh, I mean, my heart goes out to them. They they came in, which was a good and brave thing. But uh, DSK Shivajians have uh, talent, you know. some of the most inti- uh, exciting young players that india has are in dsk shivajians and they they are a better tight knit team hmm. okay so it's it's going to be it's going to be another i think maybe a 2-0 or 2-1 or 3-1 one of the three Hmm. I think this will be the match where Karanjit will be the goalkeeper. Chennai's goalkeeper will be tested finally. And then we always, we, though we, though they lost yeah. the second match, we did say that you know his performance was brilliant and he's been stepping up to his responsibility. But tonight we'll see how that goes about. And well, that's all, folks. Uh, too much of football action. You know where to get them. If in case you're missing them out, uh, and then by any reason you. I have to do a simple thing. Get on to the fangaras. dot com and follow our TFC live updates, uh, so you don't miss out on any action. We'll get you more updates every day as we do. It's a daily dose. So if you're listening to us on YouTube, click the like, hit hit the like, share, and subscribe to our channel. You can also listen to our podcast on Audio Boom, SoundCloud, iTunes, etc. and various other podcasting apps. You can also talk to us. We are on Twitter. Chiranjit this is at Chiranjit Thoja. Forty two Nikhil for Nikhil, and I underscore R underscore Kevin for. Okay, sorry. It's I underscore R underscore Boza. You know, there's too much of things to talk, so we just get you know overwhelmed about too many things. And I'm on Twitter as Jamal ninety four. Have a great day, folks. Enjoy the match, and you know where to catch it. Have a great day. Cheers. Our podcasts bring all the boys to the yard, and damn right, they're better than yours. But you don't need to stand outside in the yard. Just follow IVM Podcasts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We might be on Tinder too. Just go ahead and swipe right.